Okay, so let's go ahead, um, going off to our last video, let's go ahead and start iterating to the books, which is going to be an array of objects. So, um, first thing we need to do is let's uh, set up a variable called map books, and we'll set that to, first off we need to check and see if the books are, uh, if there's any books at all. So we go books dot is empty is empty is an immutable JS function. You don't want to use is empty from Lodash because it's not going to work. So let's check for that, and then we're going to set up our books. We're going to use a mapping function which iterates through all the results, maps them to a new array, which will be map books. Okay. Take book, take index, and what happens if there's, um, you know, no results? So I just want to, I just want to display a simple um, H4, no results found. Turner operator. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Okay, um, next we need to, um, I'm sorry, we need to grab the values of the, um, we need to grab some information from each of these books. So actually, um, let's pause for a sec and I want to console.log the book. The reason why is because I want to show you what's coming out of books and in order for me to do that I need to let's go ahead and attach this get books function here and let's go ahead and add the query here as well. Alright and you're gonna see um, a bunch of results coming through okay if I search for video games you'll see it's a map a bunch of maps so you can't read that um, now this is an immutable JS map now you can go in here and you can see all the results but let's make it a little bit more readable um, we're gonna use a function just testing called 2JS to make it more readable here. I'm going to make that to a regular JS object. And as you can see, we're getting our data back just wonderfully. Excellent. Um, so this data right here, we're going to iterate through all this data. It's an immutable object. So each of these books are represented right here. Each of these objects are represented by each of these objects right here. So using that, let's go ahead and grab some data off of each of those uh, um, objects. So let's get let's get the uh, ID. So get ID. There is an ID right there. And the same coin. Let's go ahead and grab the title. We're going to be using immutable JS's get in function, which um, um, does a nested search. Of this uh, this object here, and we're also going to grab the authors. And we're going to go volume info dot authors. Let's get the publication date. Authors, by the way, is an array. We're going to have to do a, um, we're going to have to do a uh, small mapping function to grab the authors there.
publish date and then we're going to grab let's grab an image okay so let's go book dot get in um, volume info and we're gonna go image links and small thumbnail volume info image links small thumbnail same for the author you see it's an array the title this is where I'm getting all my information right now okay okay and let's go ahead and grab a link because I want to wrap that image in a link so we're gonna go book dot get in volume info in this instance and it is called preview link all right uh, now I need to uh, map those authors to a new array so let's go map authors is equal to first I need to check the existence of authors so if there's authors at all I want to go authors because I think uh, sometimes it returns a blank array I've seen it happen before uh, when I was playing with this API that's why I added this check in here it wasn't there before so I'm gonna go map and then author and arrow function is six remember and if there's no authors just return null and here I'm just going to simply return the span tag make sure you provide a key react likes um, keys that way it knows that um, it knows which element to, to, to pick make sure it's unique and just simply return alter okay now the next part of this we need to um, we need to uh, return our uh, sorry it's supposed to be that we need to return our individual books because we're not we're not returning the books right now we're just we just grab the data for it so we're gonna output some JSX it's the last part here class name so use the class names library to easily concatenate our class names and we're going to be using Twitter bootstrap bootstrap wells We're going to set up a row and we're going to set up um, two columns here, one to hold the image, it's going to be link, image source, image. Set the title. It's pretty straightforward, easy. All right. And actually, I'm, I uh, forgot to set up the, uh, the columns here. This is supposed to be four. Excellent. So now let's set up our uh, our last column, which will be eight. And this guy is simply going to display our uh, our title. Class title. I did all the uh, 
I mentioned, I think I mentioned this earlier, but I did all the, uh, the CSS SAS for this already. This is not a CSS tutorial. Okay. Mapped authors. Let's go ahead and pass in those authors, which is an array of spans. Um, let's go ahead and get that publication date. And finally, this is optional. And this is for a future video. Um, we're going to display this um, this um, favorites button. Text center. Twitter bootstrap stuff. Classes dot favorite something I made and this up uh, button of type button class name uh, button and then button primary another bootstrap class name okay and then finally we need to take this map books get rid of this stuff right here put our map books right there and what you're going to see is you're going to see um, all of our JSX from this mapping function displayed right down here okay and there you go you see it's already working <laughs> actually let's uh let's refresh because uh, it looks a little weird alright and let's type in uh, I don't know why it's that wide. Alright, uh, sorry about that. Uh, I figured out the issue. I forgot to... I placed the, uh, this div outside of this column MD8. Um, so as you can see now... Um, if I type in video games, you see it's formatted right now. And you can see I'm getting all of my video games back and if you look at the redux state you can see as I'm typing you see the state is getting updated down here and if I go into search you can see my queries video games and you can see my books the array of books that I mentioned which is an array of objects and you can clearly see that these books are now being stored in the state um, looks great so so that is it for this uh, this portion of the tutorial series and you work on the favorites button and also the filtering but um, that is that is it for this tutorial um, I'll provide a link to my Bitbucket. Um, it should be, I can't remember if I put it up to my Bitbucket account, if I made the commit or not, I, I forgot. But um, before I post this video, I'll, I'll check and make sure it's up there. So that's it. Um, hopefully you had fun building this first portion of it out. Uh, I'm going to try to, like I said, I'm going to be try to add some more videos to this tutorial series so I'm not done with this book search API I'm gonna do more things with it play around with it um, so but that's it um, hopefully you enjoyed the videos have a great day